welcome. I will be using a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Begin by starting with a slip knot. Chain 11. We will start round one in the second chain from the hook. Put two single crochets in this chain. Then put four single crochets into the next four chains. Now we will do two half double crochets. To do a half double crochet, we will yarn over, put it through the chain, grab a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. We will now do two double crochets. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two again, two times. In our last chain, we will do seven double crochets, all into the same stitch. We will now work into the other side of the chain, working into the first space. Be sure not to miss a space. We will put a double crochet. And then in the next one, we will put another double crochet. So working in the first space, insert your hook, double crochet, and then a second double crochet. Next, we will do two half double crochets. If you would like to weave your end in at this time, you're welcome to, or we can weave it in at the end. Now, four single crochet to the end of the round. To finish the round, we will go into your beginning stitch and put two single crochets. Join the round by doing a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet of your round. Make sure you get under both pieces of yarn. Round one is finished and you should have 27 stitches. Round two, the total stitches will be 36. Start with a chain one, and in the very first stitch as your chain one, do two single crochets in that same stitch. We will then do two single crochets in the next stitch.
Now do nine single crochets, one in every stitch. Now to go around the top of the toe, we will put two single crochets in the next five stitches. So two single crochets in each one for a total of 10. So two and one, two in the next, that's two, three, four and five. So ten single crochets in those five stitches. And now nine single crochets down the side, one in each of the next nine stitches. We will now put two single crochets in each of the last two stitches. We will do a slip stitch to join. It won't be in the slip stitch or the chain one. It will be in the top of the first single crochet from the row before. Be sure you put it into the right stitch. Round two will have 36 stitches. Round three, let's start with the chain one. We will then do a single crochet in the same stitch, followed by two single crochets in the next stitch, then one single crochet in the next, Again, two single crochets in the next. Now we will do nine single crochets, one in each of the next nine stitches. To work around the toe, we will do one single crochet, then two single crochets. We will repeat this pattern five times.
Continue on down the side with nine single crochets. To finish the round, we will do two single crochets, then one single crochet, two times. Do a slip stitch to join. Remember, not in the slip stitch, not in the chain one, but in the top of the first single crochet of the round. Round three equals 45 stitches. To begin round four, we will chain one. Then we will be doing a single crochet in the back loop only. Start in the first stitch and stitch all the way around one single crochet in every stitch. Slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Round four will equal 45 stitches. Round five and six will be the same. There'll be 45 stitches in each row. Start with the chain one and do 45 single crochets in each stitch. This time, be sure to go through both loops. Once you have reached the end, do not do a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pull through. With your darning needle, we will create an invisible close. Insert the needle into your first single crochet of the row. Now place your needle into the back of the last stitch that you created. We have now created an extra V at the top or an extra stitch. So you will now have 46 stitches at the end of this round. Weave in both ends of the sole.
my sole measures approximately 4 inches, or 10 centimeters. We will now put some stitch markers in to do the detail of the sole. Find the center heel and the center toe. In the back it would be the extra stitch that we created. To find the center toe, we can count up 23 stitches and put the stitch marker in the center top. We will now place two side markers. From the center toe, count down seven stitches and place the marker. Do not count the center one. Repeat for the other side. After the center, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and place your marker. You can now remove the center heel marker as we do not need this. You can also double check by folding it in half to be sure you have your center. With the toe at the top, turn the little sole so we'll be starting on the right side. At the marker, insert your hook above the fourth row. This is the row that we crocheted in the back loop only. Draw up your black yarn. Insert into next space, draw up the yarn and do a slip stitch. Insert into next space, draw up a yarn and slip stitch. Continue this until you have reached the other side by the stitch marker. Stop just behind the marker. When you have reached the other side, drop your loop. Insert your hook from the back side of the next stitch. Grab the loop and pull the loop to the back. On the back side, pull the loop through with enough tension that it's not too tight for us to bring it to the top row. Now insert your hook into the top row at the stitch marker and pull up the loop.
You can now continue with slip stitches on the top row all the way around. If you have to remove the marker to get by, that's okay. Just replace it once you go past it. When you have reached the end, cut your yarn and drop the loop. Pull through to the back. Tie off and weave all your ends. We are now ready to do the sides. Start by leaving about a 70 to 80 inch tail, 180 to 200 centimeters. This will be used to finish the top edge at the end. Start on the right side again. Insert your hook into the back loop only, just to the left side of the stitch marker. Pull up a loop and chain one. We can now remove this stitch marker. We will do a single crochet in the same stitch. And now do single crochet in the back loop only all the way around until you have reached 31 stitches. Your last single crochet should be one stitch just before the stitch marker. You can now remove the marker. Row 1 equals 31 stitches. Row 2. Start with the chain 1 and turn. Starting in the first stitch, do 11 single crochets. From here, we will do a two single crochet together. To do this, you will insert your hook into the first stitch,
draw up a loop, insert into the second stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. That is called a two single crochet together. Now we will do another one. Insert your hook, draw up a loop, insert into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through three. Single crochet into the next stitch. Then we will do two more two single crochet together. Finish the row by doing 11 single crochet. At the end of row two, you will have 27 stitches. Start row three by a chain one and a turn. Starting in the first stitch, we will do a two single crochet together. And now 23 single crochet across the row. When you have reached the last two stitches, do another two single crochet together. Row three will have a total of 25 stitches. For row four, we will do a chain one and turn. We will then start in the first stitch. Do two single crochet together to start. Then we will do six single crochet. From here we will do two single crochet together, a single crochet, and then a two single crochet together, followed by six single crochets. You should have four stitches left. In those we will do two single crochet together. For row four you will have a total of 19 stitches. Row five will start with a chain one and turn. Insert your hook into the first stitch by doing a two single crochet together, then 15 single crochet and then another two single crochet together. Row five, you will have a total of 17 stitches.
row six, we'll do a chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch again, we will do 17 single crochets all the way across. Row six, we'll have 17 stitches. For row seven, starting with a chain one and turn, starting in the first stitch, we're gonna do a two single crochet together, 13 single crochet, and then a two single crochet together. Row seven will be a total of 15 stitches. For row eight, chain one and turn, starting in your first stitch, do 15 single crochet across. Row eight will have a total of 15 stitches. Chain one and turn, and we will begin row nine. Starting in the first stitch, we will just do 15 single crochets all the way across. Row nine will be a total of 15 stitches. We can now cut our yarn and pull through. You can now see how beautiful the little booty has become. With the tapered back, it makes it for a perfect fit on any little foot. We will now crochet the top edge with the tail that we left at the beginning. Insert your hook into the bottom stitch, pull up a loop chain one, and do a single crochet into that same stitch. We will now do seven more single crochets up the side, one at the end of each row for a total of eight. On the top of the ninth row in the corner, we will do two single crochets. Now we will do 13 single crochets along the top until we reach the next corner. In the corner, we will do two single crochets. And now eight single crochets down the side. Weave in your end as you go.
at the end, pull your remaining yarn through, and then you can tie off and weave your ends. Here is a hint. If your yarn is too short, just insert the needle and then thread your yarn after so at least you can still pull it through to secure your end. We can now start the top and the tongue. Start with a slip knot. Chain two. In the first chain, do five single crochets. chain one and turn. We will now start in the first stitch doing two single crochets in each stitch. The last stitch can be a bit tricky, but make sure you get through both loops. Chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, do a single crochet, and then two single crochets in the next. Repeat that five times until you have 15 stitches in total. This has created 15 stitches, which is the same amount on the toe of the booty, and that way it'll be easy to attach later. We will now crochet along the straight side. Do not do a chain one. We will go directly into the first space with a single crochet. We want to have six single crochets all the way across. This time we will chain one and turn. We will skip the first stitch and do five single crochets in the next five spaces. On the sixth single crochet, we are going to stop after you've pulled the yarn through. We will now change colors. 
Leave a tail of the new color of about 60 inches or 150 centimeters and we will use that to finish off the edge later. Pull the new color through, chain one and turn. Starting in the first stitch, do six single crochet across. Chain one and turn and do another six single crochet across starting in the first stitch. We are going to repeat this pattern for 10 rows total. For row 11, we will do a chain 1 turn. We will then decrease this row by doing a 2 single crochet together, single crochet, single crochet, and then a 2 single crochet together. We can now cut our grey yarn and pull through. Cut the white yarn as well, but leave about a 20 inch tail so we can weave that into the booty later. Pull your yarn through. With tail of grey yarn, pull up a loop. Chain one and single crochet in the same stitch and single crochet all the way around. Work in your loose end as you go. Tie and weave in all the ends except for the long white yarn. To attach the tongue to the booty, we need to find the center. If you count up eight stitches from either side, this will be the center of your tongue. Match to the center marker on the booty and just attach together temporarily with your marker. Line up your stitches as close as possible. With your darning needle, Attach to the inside to start. We will then insert into the top stitch only of the booty and then into both loops of the top of the tongue. So top stitch and then both. Do this all the way around, grabbing just the top stitch and then under both for the tongue.
Once you have reached your marker, you can just remove it. Finish on the other side by attaching it at the inside as well. Once everything is secure in its place, you can tie off your ends. We will now begin the star. Start with a slip knot. Insert your hook and chain two. In the first chain, we will do five half double crochets. Do a slip stitch to join in the top of the first half double crochet. Chain 1. Starting in the same stitch, do two single crochets in each stitch. Now do a slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. Cut your yarn leaving about a 10 inch tail. Pull the yarn through and secure the end to the back. With the black yarn, cut about a 20 inch piece or 50 centimeters. Start by pulling the yarn up from behind through the center and then bring it down into one of the two single crochet spaces. Repeat this for all five spaces until you have your star.
tie the black ends, cut, and just leave the tails there. We will now attach to the booty. Pull the shorter center yarn of the white through to the back. We will use this to tie on at the end. With the longer yarn, thread your darning needle. We will go in behind and just grab a small bit of the gray yarn and then come up through a stitch behind both loops. Then we will work our way down the next one, down through both loops. We are going to repeat this all the way around. When you have finished, bring your yarn to the back so we can make a knot. We can now pull this back through to the front to hide all ends and to hide the knot. We are finally at the last step, the laces. Start by doing a slip knot. Then we will make a chain. Do about 150 chains, or at least if you've reached about 30 inches in length, or 80 centimeters. We can now weave in our laces. If you look at the little booty on the inside, you will see five holes that are kind of natural in there or five larger spaces for you to put your laces. The only thing left now is to weave in the ends of the laces. Follow along with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making these little booties. Thanks. See you again soon.